Welcome to the Daily Devotional. Psalm 31, verse 14. But I trust in You, O Lord, I say, You are my God. It is good to know God and to be able to say with the psalmist, You are my God. The Apostle James gives us strong medicine on thinking the universe revolves around us. When he tells us, come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell, and make profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a moment and then vanishes away. In a sense, in our lives, if we're absolutely honest, we find very little room for God except maybe in particular moments of meaning. The rest of the time, we fill our lives with all manner of things that really don't cause us any eternal beauty or gratitude or peace. We're driven by all those things that leave so little room for God, He becomes squeezed out as Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, to the boundaries and not the center of our lives. I at times grow weary of hearing people say, Oh my God, as if God were merely an exclamation mark to punctuate a statement. It's invoking God's name without any thought to His fame, His character, or His glory. The scripture continually reminds us of the greatness of God. Only God knows the future. Isaiah 42, 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. If there is one thing coronavirus teaches us, it is this truth. Only God knows what tomorrow holds. Only God is truly sovereign over the affairs of life. This can bring us great comfort and hope and lead us into our tomorrows with confidence. Again, Psalm 31, 14, But I trust in You, O Lord. I say, You are my God. It is through prayer and the study of Scripture that our relationship with God grows and we find confidence in our relationship with Him. Someone called the Bible the owner's manual. Studying the scripture is the only way of knowing the truth about God and knowing God in truth. So if coronavirus has slowed us down and removed some of our regular routines, it can also give us the opportunity to hit the reset button of our lives and seek to bring our relationship with God more clearly into focus. So Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Psalm 131, 1-3 demonstrates the result of a close relationship with God. My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with matters or things too wonderful for me, but I have stilled and quieted my soul. Like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord both now and forevermore. The beauty and security of allowing your relationship with God to grow to one like a mother and child produces great comfort and security in trusting Him. Psalm 31 14 and 15 broadens your ability to trust as you grow in relationship with God again. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. The next phrase, my times are in your hands. Your love for God has grown to such a level that you live all of life instinctively for Him. This instinctive love and trust for God comes from a growing walk of faith and obedience in your relationship with God. Then you can say with Paul in Romans 8, 37, 38, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, 
nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Safety is not in the absence of danger, but in the presence of God. Let's pray. We pray, Father, today that many will come to know the God of all creation is a Father to all who put their trust in Him. We pray for peace for every troubled heart. The world has been brought to a standstill through coronavirus, and we pray this unexpected standstill will fulfill the command, be still and know that I am God. We pray for those near and far, that many will come to the knowledge of Christ. May you ever receive all honor and glory and praise. In the name of Christ, we pray the name that is above every other name. Amen. God bless you.